Well, hello there, motherfuckers. I want to do another uh, real live vlog here. Um, you know, old jokes aside and everything. I know we do a lot of humor on this channel. We try to get people to laugh and shit. But I wanted to talk about real life. I wanted to talk about social media and how it, like, really hinders anybody from having, like, a real meaningful relationship. Yeah, we're going to do one of those videos, people. Um, yeah. I have noticed, not just from my own experiences, but from other people's experiences with social media, it fucking kills people's relationships. It really does. It, um... It really hinders anybody from having any kind of a private life or any exclusivity to one another. And what do I mean by this exactly? It's like, well, no one can be fucking trusted. And why is this? Well, I brought this up in a past video and a couple of people came at me saying, well, it's up to the individual. They have to be responsible and not use social media. Well, tell that to fucking millions of people, okay? Um, because th that's exactly what we're faced with now. There's a lot of people that have become fucking Instagram whores, and I'm not just talking about the girls, I'm talking about the guys and everything, and, you know, this whole entire, you know, taking selfies and it, it being so easy to message somebody. I, I mentioned this back in the day. I didn't get a fucking cell phone until I was in high school. So, you know, it, it was impossible to fucking contact anybody unless, you know, you were around the pay phone. It was impossible to fucking call anybody unless you were in the goddamn fucking house. Um, so, you know, that kind of um, eased a lot of people's worries about their significant other cheating on them or, you know, talking to somebody else because there was online but you had it to be home to do it so at least you knew where the person was now anybody could be fucking anywhere talking to anybody um and as i said you know uh we have to really praise technology we can't be anti-technology we can't say that technology is horrible and i remember the last time i did a video about this and i talked about the the uh, negative impact on society on society that technology had and people said that i sounded like an old man but of course like every single video on youtube people have very short attention spans and they only listen to part of the video they only listen to part of the fucking video they pick out pieces that they want to hear, and mostly it's the negative parts, and they'll apply that into their comment. Um, but if they watch the whole video, they would see that actually I'm pretty up on technology. I mean, obviously. Look at like what cell phones has brought to us. In the case of emergency, if anybody needs to call, you don't know where somebody is. You're supposed to meet them somewhere. Back in the day, you were pretty much stuck, unless you had an actual landline or a pay phone laying around somewhere. Now... All you have to do is just fucking pick up the phone and fucking dial it. And you have a built-in phone book. This is what I couldn't stress enough. Is uh, I, didn't, I don't even know if I really mentioned this part about phones. But the thing is, the fucking phone has a, an address book inside. It keeps all the numbers. Back in the day, you needed to know the fucking number. Now, I mean, this has kind of ruined me for remembering numbers. But, like, I only remember, like, my father's number and my number and all other numbers. I have no fucking clue. Like, half of my friends, well, pretty much all of my friends, I don't know their fucking numbers. I, I, if I lost all their numbers in my phone today, uh, yeah, I'd pretty much be fucked. I wouldn't be able to fucking call anybody because I don't know their fucking numbers. And that's really bad. I mean... That really says something about, like, our memory. This is not good for, you know, our fucking um, memory and remembering things because we have a fucking device that remembers shit for us. The fucking computer acts as our brain. So, you know, that also is a, sort of a precursor to what I'm about to talk about. Um, so, yeah, so, like, this is a fucking open gateway 
of uh, of shit. Um, you know, and, and we don't have to think this does it for us. And it's maybe uh, one of the things when we DM somebody, we're not really thinking. We're acting on impulse and something like that. Uh, we're on Instagram. We see an attractive person. We immediately want to DM them. We immediately want to get to know them. We immediately want to fuck them. That's pretty much the only fucking thing. And I've I've really come to that fucking conclusion. Um, and that's kind of why I'm, fu I'm fucking single now. Is because I've really tried my hand doing that. I've talked to people online dating sites, which I don't want to just fucking narrow it down to Instagram. Let's get it honest here and Snapchat and all that. Um, and the thing is, it's like, it's really just lust half the time. Half these girls you're talking to have no fucking personality. They're just Instagram whores. They just take a thousand selfies. They look good. They have their fucking ass out. Their titties hanging out. Um, you know, and, and you just, you want to DM them because what, your future goal is to fucking meet them and eventually fuck them. Let's be fucking honest here. I mean, that's pretty much what it is. Uh, you know, but let's be honest, you know, you're just getting to know a girl just because, you know, that's the dance, you know, you have to go through. You can't just instantly, follow. Well, for some people it works, not for me. Uh, you know, I, I, I guess I could say I wish I did, you know, where you could just say, oh, I want to, you know, fuck you, but, you know, unless they're a real fucking brutal fucking horny ass whore, uh, that ain't gonna work. You have to, like, you know, go through the dance and, you know, a lot of times a girl's not even serious too and don't even act, a lot of girls like to act like all they want is relationships. Let's be honest. If anything, it's actually more of the other way around. I've, I've kind of noticed um, you know, I don't know when, when guys are saying, oh, you know, that they want a relationship and all this, and I mean, the internet is really fucking pussified, guys, it really has, uh, guys are more sharing their emotions, and I mean, I guess you could say that's a good thing, you don't want to be all bottled up, and maybe it's a little bit too much that some people don't want to hear, and other guys definitely don't want to hear your fucking sob stories about that and shit, like you're lonely and all that, um, you know, it's one thing for a girl and all that. I mean, it's kind of also pathetic when it comes from a girl too. You know, nobody wants to hear that shit. You know, nobody wants to hear that, you know, you're not getting laid and all that nonsense. It's just, you know, it doesn't sound good. It's just, you know, it, it, you feel bad for certain people, but it's like, you know, uh, anyway, it's just, you know, basically getting laid. There's no fucking real emotion behind it or anything like that. Um, so, you know, people put those emotions out there, you know, they're all over the place, it's kind of fucking disgusting, because everybody's talking about their love life or lack thereof, so, you know, th that's a real fucking turn off, and pretty much really at the end of the day, the whole internet is just a one big fucking community that wants to fuck each other, that's all it is really, that's all Instagram fucking is, it's just fucking desperate ass people trying to fucking get laid. That's where I pretty much come to the fucking conclusion. It's a bunch of lonely ass dudes, a bunch of lonely ass guys, a bunch of lonely ass uh, guys commenting on some fucking whore's picture, hoping that you know they'll they'll get their comment noticed, and they also flood that girl's inbox with a thousand DMs. This is not. From, well, maybe from one person, but a bunch of dudes are going to do it. And, you know, this girl's just fucking turned off by a bunch of fucking desperate or thirsty guys coming at her. Um, you know, and she can't distinguish one DM from the other. So, really, with all these fucking choices in the world, it's really impossible for the girl to really choose who she wanted to, you know, go out with. Back before there was the internet... You know, girls just pretty much had to choose whoever was talking to them in actuality, in person. Now they have a thousand guys fucking hitting them up. A thousand guys where some of them may be serious. Some of them may truly want to have a relationship with her. But, you know, really from someone's pictures and their stolen quotes below their photos, where's the personality? There ain't no fucking personality or anything like that, you know. Maybe somebody might post some memes, 
you know, that are um, relevant to some of your interests, such as like anime or video games. And, you know, sometimes uh, certain girls are just doing that to get the guy's attention even more. They might not necessarily like Pokemon, but they know that guys like Pokemon. And if they pretend to like Pokemon, then maybe, you know, you'll, uh, you know, follow them on their page and more followers for them and, you know, boosting their ego and shit like that. So, you know, <laughs> there's that too. Uh, people pretending to have personality. So, you know, and, and people meet on Instagram all the time and all that. So, you know, there's always all those factors. And, uh, you know, basically at the end of the day, it's all just that really it's like it's in a fucking optical illusion we all know this we've all gone on online dates and the person uh is very clever with their selfies and where they're holding the camera and you know they look a lot different when you finally fucking meet them in person it's, you know the camera is a very very uh you know elusive device it really is it's a very like uh dishonest device you know based on where you're holding a camera during a fucking selfie that can make you look a lot different. Um, you know, girls with small breasts could make them look bigger depending on the angle and shit. Or, you know, whatever it is. You you guys know this doesn't really need to be talked about. You, you know all the tricks of the trade already. You're on the goddamn internet all the time, just like everybody else, just as I am. So you, you fucking uh, know this. Um, so, you know, that, that, that's the thing. The girls now, even if they're not in a relationship, they're getting a thousand DMs. And even when they are in a relationship, they're still going to get those thousands of DMs. Their Instagram is still active. They're still taking selfies. They're still taking sexy selfies, attractive selfies that are going to make fucking guys want to fuck them and shit. And, you know, um, they're going to DM. And, of course, impulsively, people want to respond to that. And it's the same thing with Snapchat and all that, you know. Uh, what is the, the thing with Snapchat? It's all fucking selfies and all fucking pictures. And people are lusting after your pictures and all, all that. And, you know, like, let's just be honest here. It's all the fucking pictures. You know, we're getting a lot of fucking visual aids here. And, you know, the impulse, the fucking addictiveness of your fucking phone. So, of course, this is going to make you fucking want to message somebody because it's it's the convenience, it's the ease of doing so. It's not like you actually have to go outside and fucking meet somebody like it used to be. You know, remember that. And able to be able to contact somebody years ago, like, you know, 10 years ago, you had to actually, there was no social media like 10 years ago, uh, 2005. There was an internet. But the only form of communication was chat rooms. There was no pictures. There wasn't any of that. So, you know, how were people supposed to really meet? If, you know, you can't see the person, chances are you're not going to want to meet them. Because everybody's fucking goal is to fuck. So, if you can't see them, how are you going to want to fuck them? Unless you are having one hell of a stimulating conversation in that chat room or on or on that message board, um, you know, people were posting photos, but it was a pain in the fucking ass to do so. Uh, I, I mean, everything had it to be embedded in shit. Remember on Instagram how hard it was to fucking post a goddamn fucking photo. I mean, you know, you had to fucking take it on your phone. You had to fucking email that shit. And all that fucking garbage. And it was like, it was a real fucking hassle. And, uh, yeah, I mean, so it was even harder, you know, before, um, or th did I say Instagram? I, I was meant to say MySpace anyway for the first thing where you had to embed it and all that. Felt like I said Instagram. But, uh, anyway, before MySpace, which was like, I think there was another form of social media, but that was the really fucking popular one. That, uh, that everybody was into, um, and that was like probably the first time that people really started talking to each other and all that stuff, um, and yeah, so, you know, th that, that, that was the thing, uh, it really, really started to uh, become, you know, um, more convenient from that point on, you know, people were able to talk to each other, 
um, and they were able to converse a lot more freely and easily. And, you know, like, it's so easy. Like, right here, like, you have somebody on Snapchat, you don't even have to have their phone number. Just add them on there and just start fucking messaging them or send them a fucking picture, and it's just that fucking simple. So it's like, well, it's fucking ease and convenience. Uh, I know we're 15 minutes into this video, and I really haven't even uh, fucking touched on this part of the topic. It's that, you know, you're in a relationship, and it's curiosity. And you know that curiosity killed the, the cat, but the curiosity is this. It's like, there's a sexy girl's photos right there on Snapchat being posted. And you want to message her. And it's that simple. And it's like, if you're in a relationship and you're not married or anything like that, it's like, you're going to want a message. You know, the old expression that, you know, a lot of people think that the grass is greener on the other side. Well, people want to see that grass. That ass, too. But, you know, that grass. And uh, they're going to want to fucking in 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 inspect what's going on over there. Um, and so, you know, people are going to take chances. And girls do the same thing. You know, they, they want to see... Um, now, everybody says, you know, that they want a faithful man and all that. But, you know, the fact of the matter is... I'm talking to the guys and the girls, because they're about fucking equal now uh, with, with, with what they do online. Um, you know, let, let, let's be honest here. You don't, you know, you, you want a faithful guy, but when you get one, you know, you're still up to your same old tricks on fucking Instagram with guys DMing you and stuff like that. So let, let, let's be honest here. I mean, uh, the modern relationship is pretty much broken Do to social media, Instagram, and Snapchat. I see it all the fucking time. Um, you know, it, it's just, it, it's the convenience age, pretty much. It's just, everything is right there at your fingertips. And it makes that, it, that much more simple to be dishonest and, you know, and that much more curious. And so, yeah, just want you guys to think about that. It was something that was weighing on my mind. This was a video that I did months ago, and I just wanted to follow up on it. Um, so, you know, I know a lot of people are going to hate me, and they're going to say that I'm wrong and all that. And, you know, that how dare I make, you know, this assessment about people. And, of course, people are going to individually be insulted by a video like this. Like, oh, I don't do that. Or, you know, my boyfriend's... Well, you might want to check his phone, but, you know... <laughs> you know um, you know, my boyfriend's not like that. It, it, you know, you need to find somebody who's more faithful, someone who's not going to do that. But the fact of the matter is, everybody's on their phone. Everybody's just walking around the street, fucking phone in their face, shit like that. I mean, they can't even fucking see where they're going half the time. Um, they're bumping into you. So, you know, the thing is there. It's like, what do you think they're doing on their phone most of the time? Playing games? Either that or talking to somebody. And chances are they're probably talking to somebody. And that's just the fact of the matter of it. I mean, you know, I don't really know uh, what a way to put it. You know, it, it's pretty fucking blatantly obvious that, you know, when people are talking on their phone, they're not always talking to their friends, but they're talking to a person that they're interested in one way or the other. So, there you go, guys. There's a little video for you guys to think about. To, um, this is my phone going off right here. Um, just want you guys just to think about that. And, uh, yeah. So there you go, guys. Um, yeah. Think about that. Really let it, like, um, you know, meld over you in your mind and just, you know, try to think about what's going on in society. I mean, you know, I just want to make you guys aware because sometimes I feel like people are just going through this life and they're just, you know, taking as it as it comes, and they don't really sit back and analyze, and I find it truly, like, astonishing. Like, you know, some people just don't really sit back or really want to discuss these things and criticize society. I mean, we just roll with the punches, and it's like a poor attitude, really. I think, like, society and people in general, they deserve to be criticized. We were given minds, minds that are capable of criticism and deduction so we could you know, uh, properly analyze and discuss these things. That's why we've been given voices and, you know, the ability to interact with each other. It's, you know, it, it's a good, healthy thing to discuss what's going on in society. I mean, because 
we become a bunch of mindless drones, really, where we're just fucking falling to day to day. We're not really thinking outside the box. We're not really being inventive with thought. You know, we, we um, it's vital that that we do so. I I, I mean, how are we gonna you know bring about more innovative uh, innovative thinkers? How are we gonna come up with original thoughts if you know everybody just refuses to think and just going to stay on their phones all the time and not even bother to really analyze that. Um, so yeah, there's a couple of thoughts for you. Think them over. Let's discuss them in the comments. Talk to you later, guys.